Another thing that has uh, that has him trending now this week is uh, he has been heavily lobbying for the NCAA to allow his Jackson State football team and uh, you know to represent the SWAC in a bowl game, and he's actually narrowed it down. He doesn't see why he can't particip they can't participate. Excuse me, in a New Year's Eve bowl game, one of the new Big Six games. Um, or just eight no. New Year's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. you know they have right. Yeah, they're so what? I, ties. Well, exactly, exactly. So what I wanted to do was um, just uh, go over some of the teams that were in the, some of those bowl games uh, last year. But you can you can quickly talk about. Yeah, I guess my my thing. Um, couple things that jump to mind. Most of those bowls have conference affiliations, mm -hmm. and you're, it's kind of like predetermined who plays who. Like, you'll get the fifth team out of the ACC, and that'll match with the seventh team in the Big Ten who has a six-win record or whatever. So there might be some contractual issues, but I would certainly say, like, bringing Jackson State to play uh, one, in one of these bowls would be probably a lot more profitable and entertaining than to bring, you know, like a horse shit, you know, North Carolina team. Yeah, this is what, this is, that's basically what he's saying. He's saying, you know, um, hey, hold on, hold on. Let, let me get to this really quick. So last year, there were 41 bowl games played during the season. Um, 17 teams received invitations with a 500 record. That's, you know, the even, even record there. Hawaii actually had a losing record of 6 and 7. Yeah. Um and played Memphis Tigers who was 6 and 6. Now Jackson State is undefeated um in their, you know, in, in, uh, with their conference. Um now um Rutgers who are 5 and 6, under 500, that's a losing record, um uh, played in the Gator Bowl. Um so what Dion is saying is 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 he thinks his team and other HBCU teams should be allowed to benefit from such a saturated bowl season because they pretty much just allow anybody. <coughs> yeah. So what he's saying is, you know, why? Because um, one of the um, one of the people that sit on the board says the problem is FCS does not qualify for FBS bowls. Um, it would take an NCAA legislative change, and there are certain things you would have to be in order to play in those bowl games um, and things like that. And and basically what Dion is saying is my team, um, you know, we're good enough to play in those games. Our, 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 you know, our people will travel. Our fans will travel, and, and basically, we, we're just going. We're going to do better ratings. Nobody wants to see fucking Rutgers at four and whatever yeah, yeah. in a bowl game. You That's put Jackson State against somebody. People watch. He he's a hundred percent right, and but I I think that there's a couple levels to this. I, I do think it's probably right from a legal standpoint that there may have to be an actual like change. In, yeah, yeah, in that's that. what the guy. On the I also said. think that there is, as I kind of alluded to initially, uh, there's a lot of contractual tie-ins with conferences and bowls that match teams up that would have to be kind of upset to a degree to accommodate this. Um, so we've said from the beginning though. He needs to play Power 5 schools and get some wins. So he's also shown patience in playing the long game. Yeah. This move right here could really... He may know damn well it ain't going to happen this year. Mm -hmm. But this could be somebody setting up something for, for uh, Labor Day weekend next year. I think that's or, what he's doing. Or beyond that. I, I definitely think that that's the case. He's playing the long game here. I don't expect everything to fall into place. Now, my question is, last year their final game was, to my understanding, was, was it essentially an HBCU championship game? Yeah. Yeah. And so there's an HBCU championship. Yeah, and uh, and FAMU is playing well this year. Maybe uh, maybe against them, but I'm not sure who else in that conference is doing well. My other question is: Doesn't the FCS have a playoff as well? I'm pretty sure. Would Jackson State be eligible to compete for that? Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would there be some weird scenario where they would have to make a decision? Either we're going to play the HBCU title game, or we're going to get in the playoff. For, yeah. For the FCS, they couldn't do both. I'm I'm pretty sure they would have to make a decision because there's you know okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, if they were to make that make that rule, they probably would pick one team from the uh, from the FCS um, and then and then do it like that. Okay. And okay. I'm looking right now, um, North Dakota State won last year. North Dakota State, that's where um, your guy comes With from. Trey Lance and I think and, uh, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Yeah. Um, so that's a powerhouse. 
Yeah. You know, I I I wouldn't mind seeing um actually fam you won in nineteen seventy eight. Shout out to Fam you it's to see you. Um but yeah, I wouldn't right. mind seeing like a Jackson State versus North Dakota State first, you know, because they have a powerhouse in that Well, I mean I my thought was you know like I I, I think he's lobbying for the future, but I, I would get in the FCS playoff and try to win the damn thing. Yeah. You know, and then from there you you know continue to enhance the platform. Yeah. I'm, we're gonna take we're definitely gonna uh be tapped into that. And um, for sure, and seeing where they go this year. But that was my overall point. It's the long game. I think he's just doing an awesome job of putting that out there. So this summer, they can take a longer look at that and say, hey, maybe we do need to include these guys. Um, especially look at his strong re- recruiting class he has coming in next year. And fucking Travis. Travis came back from that injury. Yeah. And he looks like an NFL player <laughs> right now. I mean, I, just I told you, man. I mean, guys could barely you. catch a pass on him. Yeah. And he's still playing both ways coming back from injury. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's just, he's, I, 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 just, I didn't know. I didn't know he was that type of athlete, that type of player. I, well, I mean, Travis Hunter, Victor. Mm-hmm. I'm the prophet, man. <laughs> you let me, yeah. I'm you tell real. me about these guys months before they're even like trending in news. And yeah. I'm like, I, and it kind of goes in one way out the other. And then everybody starts talking about them. And I'm like, I think that's the guy Pink told me about. <laughs> you probably don't realize this, but you're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But shout out to Deion Jack State. <laughs> We're going to uh, uh, keep an extra eye look on the FCS playoffs. And hopefully next year, Jackson State does get a, um, a bowl game. Pretty sure it won't happen this year but just because of the laws and the rules that they already have in place. You can't just bowl guard <laughs> things. But I'm sure he knows what he's doing there. All right? Absolutely.